up you guys welcome back to another one if you're new to the channel I am Gold Pony I do new car truck SUV reviews on YouTube and today we are in the new 2021 Ford Mustang Mach-E courtesy of Bob Ruth Ford in Dillsburg PA for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so I am in this one today of course because this is an all-new electric SUV from Ford of course essentially you just plug it into your garage overnight and it is charged up then in the morning and it is pretty darn good looking in my personal opinion as well a lot of its styling cues of course coming from the Ford Mustang itself and so in this video I will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking the steering feel ride quality I just let off the gas and there's regenerative braking essentially is bringing me to a stop without me having to hit the brake pedal at all i like that and so anyways i'm just gonna cut right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so before i actually go over the trim levels and the pricing for each one of those trim levels i did want to mention to you guys at least at the time of this video there is an available 7500 dollars federal tax credit if you live here in the u.s so if you were interested in one of these you have that to look forward to as well and so first trim level is going to be the select that starts at forty two thousand eight hundred ninety five dollars then there is the california route one for forty nine thousand eight hundred dollars premium which actually is the one we have today starting at forty seven thousand dollars each even GT, which is going to be the very quickest Mach-E. That one starts at 60,500. And lastly, the first edition starting at $58,300. And so as you can imagine with each of those trim levels, there are different specs when it comes to horsepower, torque, all of that fun stuff. So first configuration I'm going to go over belongs to the select and premium trims like the one we have today. 266 horsepower, 317 pound-feet of torque for the rear wheel drive. However, 428 pound-feet of torque for the all-wheel drive actually that we have today zero to 60 on this one approximately 5.2 seconds with 230 miles of range in case you were curious there then there is the california route one trim level that one puts out 290 horsepower 317 pound feet of torque that particular setup is rear wheel drive only so no all wheel drive is going to be available for that one zero to 60 for that 6.1 seconds with 305 miles of range then you have the first edition trim level that one puts out 346 horsepower 420 28 pound feet of torque all wheel drive only for that one zero to 60 in 4.8 seconds with 270 miles of range lastly the gt trim level again the quickest one putting out 480 horsepower 600 pound feet of torque by the way there is a performance edition for that one that puts out 634 pound feet of torque all wheel drive only for that one 3.8 seconds to 60 or 3.5 seconds if you go with the performance edition with 250 miles of range for that particular setup but before we do any kind of fun acceleration test in our Mach-E here today, a couple different things I want to mention to you guys first. Let me start with, of course, the drive modes. There are three of them. They are labeled Whisper, Engage, and Unbridled. And so I currently have it in Unbridled, of course. So if you were to think of it in a different way, Whisper is going to be Eco, Engage might be Normal, and Unbridled means Sport. So just think of it that way. But they will adjust things like the acceleration, the steering feel, which was immediately noticeable for me. It is a much heavier your steering feel when I put it in that last driving mode there which I currently still have it in so it's also going to adjust how quickly the Mach-E is going to slow down for you as well actually gotta love these driving modes when it comes to electric cars is so different and also one more thing I wanted to mention to you guys before I do that acceleration test there is a one pedal drive mode and so I just put it in that drive mode and really what that does is it just takes full advantage of the regenerative braking so if I let off the gas pedal right now it essentially is going to bring me to a complete stop. And it did without me having to touch the brakes whatsoever. So that is a pretty crazy concept if you were not used to the electric car. So I think that is pretty cool. I like that there. And actually there is a button labeled propulsion sound. Let's go ahead and hit that just for giggles here. I like that. I'm gonna leave that on. It makes this thing sound like a turbo jet taking off, like an airplane taking off, if you will. So I like that. I'm gonna leave that on another little cool feature of this one. But anyways, I'm loving playing around with this thing. All of this stuff I'm not used to because electric cars are still new. At the time of this video, five years from now when I'm watching this, that may be different. But now I haven't got all of that out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and find a straightaway here. Let's put the Mach-E to the test with our 400 plus pound feet of torque here. And let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed. All right, this is our straightaway here in three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Gosh, it's 
started this thing is fun oh my gosh this is a premium this isn't even the gt wow yeah buddy this thing is fun man i wasn't uh, okay it has over 400 pound feet of torque i get it but still dang you could feel it in the pit of your stomach you guys that literally that acceleration was like a roller coaster take off not the ones where it's just like slow but it's just the ones that shoot you out that is how fun this thing is I can't stop smiling. This Mach-E is a beast, son. And this is coming from somebody who owned a 2019 Mustang GT. This thing is a blast. Anyways, I'm done. To go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so as you can imagine, four-wheel ventilated disc brakes do come standard. When it comes to that 60-0 stopping distance, that comes in at 109 feet. And by the way, for comparison's sake, you guys, Typically, the Mach-E is compared to the Tesla Model Y. That 60 to stopping distance for that one, 118 feet. So 109 feet is much better. Instantly brings you to a stop in this thing, not to mention the one pedal drive mode where essentially you don't even have to hit the brakes and it brings you to a stop, which is so freaking weird and very cool at the same time. So braking feel is absolutely wonderful, actually, in the Mach-E, believe it or not. Sometimes electric cars have issues with the braking feel, but definitely not the case in the Mach-E. Touching on suspension and handling independent front and rear suspension. If you were to go with the GT trim level, you will also get a Magna-Ride damping suspension as well. And so always want to emphasize that one because that really does give you the best of both worlds. It not only tightens up the suspension during heavy cornering, but it also monitors the road imperfections. It gives you a much smoother ride then as well. So it essentially monitors each shock absorber individually. That's how it's able to pull that off. So that is definitely one that I like to emphasize. But overall, as far as ride quality goes, it's perfectly fine actually you can feel a little bit more of the road than maybe some of its other suv counterparts but it's not bad i will say that as far as steering feel goes when you put it in that unbridled driving mode it is wonderful a very nice feel to it definitely on the heavier side without a doubt so absolutely no issues whatsoever when it comes to the steering feel I'm loving it. When it comes to cabin noise, you guys could probably tell I am driving right now. There isn't a whole lot of exterior wind noise whatsoever coming into the cabin. It is a very quiet cabin as expected. This is a electric car after all. So that is quite interesting and quite cool as well there. And by the way, that is due in part because there is acoustic laminated front windshield for every single trim level. Then if you were to go with the premium or GT trims, you will get acoustic laminated front side glass. And actually first edition trim level is going to give you the side glass as well so that is pretty cool as far as visibility goes it is great i can see perfectly fine out the back so absolutely no issues there whatsoever and in addition to that there are rain sensing windshield wipers that do come standard on every single trim level across the board as well but that about rounds out the performance segment of this review you guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2021 Ford Mustang Mach-E. All right, so now since we are around front of the Mach-E, when it comes to that front grille, there really isn't one. I usually start with the front grille, but that is not going to be the case here, obviously. However, I will say, if you were to go with the GT trim level of this one, that GT trim actually kind of imitates a front grille with the look of it, although still not technically a front grille, so I wanted to mention that. Also, if you guys are wondering what is in place of the engine underneath the hood, instead you're actually going to get compartmentalized storage in the frunk, so that is pretty cool. Sometimes with electric vehicles like, I don't know, the Volkswagen ID4, you don't have that, but I know with Tesla you do, and with the Mach-E you also have a frunk. So that is a pretty cool setup up there, I'll say that. But to the sides, LED reflector headlights are going to come with the Select and California trims. However, LED projector headlights are going to come with the Premium and GT. Therefore, little better illumination if you were to go with one of those top two trim levels there. Either way, you're going to get the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark out at night, they're going to turn on automatically for you there. And LED daytime running lights then as well. But so then making our way to the side of the Mustang Mach-E, black window surrounds do come standard, rear privacy glass comes standard along with that. Charging port is going to be found on the driver's side front fender in case anybody was curious where that was located. As far as the charging speeds go, a few different ways you could charge it of course. There is the traditional three pin plug or the wall outlet I should say that is going to charge this one up completely in 33 hours. There is the 3.6 kilowatt that is going to be 21 hour charge and a seven kilowatt is going to charge you up in 11 hours that dc fast charger if you wanted to go that route is going to charge this thing up 
from zero to 80% in 47 minutes. After that 47 minutes, it does slow down a little bit. So Ford recommends that you just charge it up to 80% and then stop and continue on with your trip. But anyways, wanted to mention that in case anybody was curious about the warranty, since I haven't mentioned yet when it comes to the battery, at least battery is warranted for eight years or 100,000 miles, whichever comes first. So I wanted to mention that as well, but zooming back out to the side mirrors, they are power adjustable heated side mirrors that do come standard. They will also come with LED integrated turn signals and pony projection lights as well. That is pretty darn cool because I know that's with the premium trim level of the typical Mustang GT. So do like that it comes standard on the Mach-E here. Also wanted to mention as far as the finish of the side mirrors go, it is going to be body colored for the select, but all other trim levels, those side mirrors are going to be finished in gloss black like you were currently looking at right now. But now let me get to how you actually get in the Mach-E because it is a little bit different than every other vehicle out there. For example, there is simply a a button on both the front and rear doors that you just press and then the door will slowly nudge open so you can then pull it all the way open the rest of the way. So simply just press in on the button, it'll pop out for you and then you can pull the door the rest of the way open in case anybody was curious there. But taking a look down at the wheel configurations, 18 inch carbonized gray painted aluminum alloys for the select trim, 18 inch high gloss black painted aluminum alloys for the California, 19 inch machine finished aluminum alloys for the premium, that of course being what you guys are looking at right now, and 20 inch machine faced aluminum alloys for the GT. And of course you have that Mach-E badging located on the front door send towards the bottom as well, which is pretty darn cool. But now, Let's go ahead and make our way to the back of the Mach-E. Rear spoiler with an integrated brake light does come standard just below that. Rear window wiper as well. LED taillights with clear housings. I've always loved clear taillight housings of really any vehicle. It's kind of the Euro look. If you go with the traditional Mustang, that is how they're set up there in Europe. But then when they get to the US, of course, they're red. But anyways, pretty cool look. And this is how they look when the turn signals are on and also when I'm braking. I wanted to show that to you guys. But Pony logo also looks very good back there with the carbon look to it and just blow it all a gloss black lower rear bumper of course no exhaust outlets this is an electric vehicle so typically at this point i do the exhaust clip but instead we're just going to skip on to the rear tailgate here a bit so then when it comes to opening that rear tailgate it is a manual tailgate for the select in california trim levels hands-free power tailgate then for the premium and gt once opened up cargo capacity comes in at 29.7 cubic feet if that was not enough space as the receipts of course do fall down bumping that up to 59.7 cubic feet of course in that cargo area you can also find tie down anchors there are grocery bag hooks a 12 volt power outlet of course some cargo lighting back there and there's actually an adjustable cargo floor with in-floor storage then as well and if you wanted a cargo cover that is going to come standard on the california trim level and up in case you were curious there but now making our way up to the rear legroom that comes in at 38.1 inches so for reference I mean, even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. For those rear passengers, they can also find a rear center armrest with cup holders. There is rear ventilation back there as well, and a couple of charging ports for the rear passengers then as well, which is pretty much as expected there. But to then make your way to the front seats, Active X black cloth material coming with the Select and California trims. However, if you were to go with the Premium or GT, that turns into Active X perforated leather, which is very comfortable, by the way. But Miko suede inserts then are going to come along with that if you were to go with the GT trim level. Front seats are going to be heated with the premium and GT trim levels as well and again seats are ridiculously comfortable in the Mustang Mach-E. I will say that I had no issues. One of the first things I noticed was how plush these seats were so definitely very nice seating here. Then take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is soft vinyl wrapped. I don't think I've ever said that in a review. So that's a little bit different. Kind of feels like leather quite honestly. But anyways, heated steering wheel also coming with the premium trim and the GT trim level then as well. But so then make your way to the startup. Let me first start by showing you guys the key here. It is essentially like your standard Mustang key that I've held before. So you got your Mustang logo on the one side. When you flip it around, lock, unlock, and that button to pop the rear hatch. And then a push button start though is going to come standard for every single trim level along with the ability to use your phone as a key as well and so once started up this is one of the coolest gauge clusters kind of similar to the Volkswagen electric vehicle I drove recently but it is a 10.2 inch digital gauge cluster 
and it looks so cool. Digital readout essentially is front and center, and it's really all you're gonna need on that one. But now, let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality. A panoramic fixed glass roof comes with the California Premium, and it's gonna be optional for the GT then if you wanted it. Overhead sunglass holder coming standard on the Mach-E. Universal garage door openers standard on the Mach-E. Gotta love that. Wireless phone charger also coming standard on this one. Multicolor ambient lighting for the Premium and GT trim levels. Then just in front of the shifter, you have a little bit of storage found there with the USB charging port, also an auxiliary port. Just underneath of that, even more storage, but it's going to be hidden storage. This is the part I loved and didn't expect to see. So that is pretty cool. So if you're a girl and you were hiding your purse or something, that is where you could potentially put it. So that is pretty cool. Dual cup holders just behind that. And by the way, the gear selector to actually change this thing up is going to be the circular selector, just like they use in the new GT500, just like they use in the Fusion on pretty much all of their other vehicles at this point. But anyways, within the center armrest, you have a 12 volt power Atlant and a DC amount of storage then within there as well but overall as far as interior quality goes everything is finished in very high quality i love the contrast colors in this one with the light leather and the dark leather also like the contrast stitching but perhaps my favorite part about the interior design i guess you could say was the way they integrated the speakers into the whole design. So we have a Bang & Olsen sound system, I'll get to that in a second here, but they kind of used the speaker design and finished a lot of the other interior with that design, like just above the passenger side glove box, it continues on just behind the infotainment screen. And of course that same material is found on the doors then as well, but a very nice design overall to the Mach-E, a very high quality design. I personally absolutely loved it, but anyways, Let's now go ahead and make our way to the fun part, to the infotainment screen. It is a 15.5 inch vertical color touchscreen display, works just like a smartphone. So it was very easy to pick up on for me personally. Bluetooth and audio streaming do come standard. One of my favorite parts though, wireless Android Auto Apple CarPlay. So many vehicles are still not doing that these days. It's kind of hit and miss at this point, I guess you could say, but gotta love the wireless Android Auto Apple CarPlay. This is a Sync 4A system, in case anybody was curious. It's not the Sync 3 system found in the 2020 Ford Mustang, for example, I don't know. Factory navigation system also coming standard. You can check out your climate control settings up on that screen as well, and your drive modes, of course. When it comes to the sound systems on this one, six speakers are going to come with the Select in California. However, you will get a 10 speaker Bang & Olufsen sound system with wonderful looking speakers, just like I said, if you were to go with the Premium or GT. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> Definitely a ton of bass going on with that sound system. That is a wonderful Bang & Olufsen sound system here in the Mach-E, and definitely more of enough of a sound system for the size of this vehicle. And so the last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that infotainment screen is when you do put the Mach-E in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board, 360 degree monitor then coming standard on the premium and GT trim levels, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so then first thing I wanted to mention when it comes to safety, IIHS top safety pick, which pretty much says it all right there. Front side, side current airbags do come standard driver's knee airbag up front as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors to tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child double X tire pressure monitoring system. That's all pretty boring, but Ford does a very good job with a bunch of standard safety on the Mach-E. It is called Ford Copilot 360. And this safety suite is going to include forward sensing system, auto hold, automatic high beams, a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert, lane keeping system, pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking, post-collision braking, reverse brake assist, rear parking sensors, adaptive cruise control with stop and go, evasive steering assist, quite a bit there. And then the California trim level and up is also going to add to that active park assist 2.0 where it is going to park itself, like parallel park itself and things like that. So all in all, when it comes to my final thoughts, let me tell you guys, I might catch some crap in the comment section for this. This thing is definitely worthy of the Mustang name. And this is coming from a 2019 Ford Mustang GT owner. Let me tell you guys, once you drive it, you will understand if you're that Mustang guy like I was, let me tell you, an incredible acceleration. When you put over 400 pound-feet of torque in an electric vehicle, you are going to get 
instant acceleration. It's like a roller coaster. It's wonderful. Amazing braking, especially when you compare it to the Tesla Model Y. Great tech, great interior quality on this one, which I can't always say when I do Ford reviews, but this is definitely an amazing interior quality here. Also, you got the $7,500 tax credit going on right now, which is also a wonderful thing. One pedal mode is an absolute blast, especially if you're not used to it. Like Mason's electric cars are still relatively new at this point. And overall, I gotta be honest, you guys, I would buy one of these things. This was an amazing drive. And quite honestly, probably my favorite drive all year, if I'm being honest. This thing was a blast, everything about it. So let me tell you, if you get a chance to check this one out, you definitely want to. So anyways, from the video at least, let me know what you guys think of the Mustang Mach-E in the comment section below. And so, but that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you wanted to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.